Are you not sure how to use propane or the propane tank on your trailer? Well, I'm going to show you how in this Take 5 episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone. So regardless of what kind of trailer you own, most likely you have a propane tank or tanks of some sort on your trailer. And so the question really becomes, what do I use it for and how do I fill those tanks back up? Well, here in my New Camp Tab 400, I really use propane for two main functions. Number one, we use it for our Aldi heating and water heater system, but I only use propane when I'm not plugged into shore power. Number two, the two burner stove. Now, the only option to use it is with the propane, and that's primarily where our propane use goes. On a New Camp Tab 400, we have one 20 pound cylinder that's located right up front in the bucket. And I'm gonna show you very quickly how I would go about um, unattaching and reattaching this tank. So for starters, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it clockwise to the closed position. Closed means that the tank is closed off and no propane is gonna be um, leaving the tank. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn and release the hose coming from the trailer. And now that's completely off. And finally, down here, I'm going to undo the screw to release the band that kind of holds this tank in place during travel. So you don't need to take it completely out. You just need to unscrew it loose enough that you can grab onto your tank and gently pull it up and out. And now we have our tank. So in terms of what are my options for refilling this tank, well, you really have a couple with the 20 pounders. Number one, you can do an exchange program. Um, gas stations a lot of times will exchange your tank and you just give them your empty tank and they give you a filled tank. Now, personally, I don't like doing that. This was a brand new tank that came with the trailer. I wanna keep this tank. So what I do is I try to find a place where they will actually fill it for me. And number two, I look for a place that will fill and only charge me for the propane that they put into it. A lot of places just charge a set rate and regardless of how much goes in. I like tractor supply. Our local tractor supply charges you by the gallon and they only charge you for what they put in. Once I get my tank filled, we just do it in reverse. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my tank back in. And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the band that holds it in place. Then I'm going to take my line that feeds to the trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and screw that back on, nice and tight, but just hand tight. And then finally, I'm gonna go ahead and open that valve all the way up. Now, the next thing I like to do is I like to go in the trailer and do what we call bleeding the line. If air gets in the line, that can affect the performance. So the way I do it is I just use my cook stove. So let's go inside. So our model in the Tab 400 by New Camp has a two burner Dometic cooktop. Now this does not have the auto light, so I do have to use a lighter. With this particular model, um, you wanna turn to the, the light position and then go ahead and start your propane. Now, because I disconnected, there's a little bit of air in the line and it's taken a second, and then just keep holding that in for about 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, go ahead and release and turn the knob to the actual flame position. And then when I'm trying to get air out of the line, I'll let this burn for maybe up to 30 seconds just to get all the air out of the line. I always do this after changing my propane tank because I don't wanna have air in the line when I'm trying to use my Aldi. Then, if I'm using this as a cooktop, I can adjust the flame by turning it to the left, and slowly that flame will get lower. So, kind of think of it as low, medium, and high on your stove at home, so as you turn that. If you're having problems lighting your actual burners in this particular model, what I, again, the key that most people forget is get your flame, go to the first position, and then hold that button in right there for 10 to 15 seconds. What that does is that's gonna warm the burner up, and then once it's warmed up, you can release and turn over to the actual cook setting. If it goes out right away, just 
turn it off and try it again. All right, I hope that helps you with your propane tank and how to use your cooked stove in a Tab or a Tab 400. Until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.